Welcome back guys to video 2 of my Europe trip series. Along this series you're going to see us travelling through 6 countries, through all different climates, through rain, through sun, through snow, wind, you name it, we went through it all. If you're into travel videos don't forget to like, subscribe, stick around and don't forget to check out all the other videos on this series. It's morning, day 3. I had this wind ruffle all night last night, Mrs. cried I didn't put eating on first night. My god we did not need eating on last night, I was sweltering. I'm up in double bed with young men. Oh, it felt like Tarzan this morning. Oh, literally like waking up in jungle. I swear blind there's about like 400 squirrels on roof this morning. Walking here with the footsteps tip tapping about. We're on French Swiss border somewhere. Looks like weather's gonna be another banger. about four stamps and a passport spoilt it's about eight o'clock in the morning it's a beautiful morning I thought we're gonna have a walk around this campsite for one I don't know where the drinking water point is I could do with some I don't know where you tip shitter and I could do with that <laughs> and I don't know where bins are so let's go and find the answer to all them questions beautiful morning though so we're spending all day today here, letting kids have a rest and a bit of a play. And then tomorrow we're back on the road. I think tomorrow we'll be doing some passes in Switzerland to be fair. But we haven't got anything booked as of yet. So as of where we're staying, I have no idea. Oops, I'm gonna slap younger out of them. Stuck iffy. Yeah, as where we're staying yet. I've absolutely no idea. Don't need to know really, do we? Oh, well, I'll tell you where we are staying in camper. I just don't know where we're parking it yet. Everyone's really friendly here as well. Here in France, everyone's like bonjour, bonjour. Everyone says hello to you. So it is nice. And the family of geckos. <laughs> Loads of them living in this. I tried to give them some crisps, but I think they prefer ants. They're not shy. They are a little bit. I didn't film a great deal on day three guys, the weather was absolutely banging, we just spent the day with the kids in the pool, enjoying the sunshine, relaxing. Cut to day four. Day four, time to leave, leave our little jungle paradise. paradise. We're off today. It's like Australia here for all creepy crawlers. I'm not even joking you, ants, the ants are three times the size of UK ones. You can see the faces, they pull facial expressions that are that big. And the wasps are like, well the hornets aren't they? They're Asian hornets, they sound like an helicopter coming in to land, awful things. And before I put everything away, just thought I'm just going to check all these clothes that have been outside. Look at the size of him. Ginormous caterpillar just chilling on my shorts before they go back in camper. Sound. I know it'll only turn to some moth or something, but... Ugh. Size of him. Massive. Probably doesn't even do it any justice on camera, but he's a big boy. This is camper van and caravan life. For those of you that know, no. We have to take shit to our empty it down that. And also, I'm gonna fill us up with a bit of water because we're running on empty. It's nice to have a bit of water just to wash pots off the move if we end up roughing it and stuff. Nice little loose pipe here. I'm gonna fill us up with water. And we'll be on our journeys, we're off. You know what, it's a gorgeous campsite like this. I'm gonna do a little bit of a walk around before we go, just to show you. Anyone else that might be travelling through might think, hmm, looking for a nice campsite. This is the one for you, it's nice. Absolutely dead. Just gotta wait for that to fill up, that's one bar of water. 
We've got four bars on this, so we'll get two or three in it. We've got plenty of water then to wash pots. Also, side note, if you haven't watched this video of me upgrading the leisure batteries and putting my tires on, before, whenever I used to have this off, the leisure battery used to beep at me saying leisure battery poor. Leisure battery now, we did rough it for a, a night. We had eating on and all that jazz. Leisure battery is good, so my little leisure battery upgrade was a success story. Worked perfect. Look at the colour of that. It's so mucky. It's like a barn find. Right, I'm going to go and check out. I might give a quick little walk around to this side just in case anyone ever wants to come to it. And stuff. Little seating area. That's like a little restaurant, little bar. When we first got here that night, there were baking pizzas, which were really nice. Pools look for kids. Outdoor pool, no one in it. It's, it's absolutely dead. Completely dead. We have been in it. Heated as well. So yesterday it was like 27 degrees. It was like being in Turkey yesterday. Nice pool there. Yeah, I can't believe how dead it is. It's uh, so quiet. But definitely a hidden little gem. Little baby pool. Sat around that, tried to get my youngest daughter in there, but <laughs> both my kids are like chalk and cheese. So Madison, the eldest, is a water baby, always has been. Can't get her out of the pool. Effie, on the other hand, the youngest, hates it. Absolutely hates it. Pouring water, she cries. Nice heated indoor pool as well. So if you are thinking of travelling and you are local to this place, it's called Hutopia. Crazy golf down there, by the way. Yeah. It's called Hutopia. Now there's, I don't know if you can make it out camera, but there's tons and tons of like log cabins hidden in these. So my dad brought his bike, his push bike, he got one of them electric things. So I went for a zip, zip round and it goes for ages. There's, I think I counted like, it goes up to number 200 and odd. There's like loads of log cabins down there with wood burners. I'm guessing a lot of locals probably come here. But yeah, very nice place. We're definitely a good stop off. I wouldn't want to stop here for a week. I wouldn't want to stop here for a week type thing. I mean, there's some nature walks up there if you're into that type of thing. Me personally, couldn't think of anything worse. Walking is not my bag. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have wanted to stop here for a week. There's not much to do, but for a couple of days stop off like we're doing, perfect. Absolutely perfect. Dropped in, had some local stuff, pizzas and quick swimming pool with kids. You know, because I'm just trying to make sure kids have a good time as well. It's not all about me and my driving life. It rubbed to me and my dad would just... Uh, excuse me, we'd be driving all over the place just because I like traveling and seeing stuff but obviously kids you can't do that with kids can you you've got to stop you've got to let them have a break so this has been perfect for them they've had a nice little break here would I come back yeah if I were if I were traveling through area again definitely I'd, uh, I'd stop here for a, a couple of day break right I'm gonna go and check out I'm gonna make the road if you're anywhere in France you must must stop at a bakery bread is unbelievable and fruit, bread and fruit from French villages are unbelievable. As much as that nice little stop were, it's time to get back on the road for the next leg of our adventure. Now we are heading towards Switzerland, we haven't got anywhere booked as of yet, that is the ladies job. So my missus and my stepmom, they're on the phones, they're looking for the next campsite. Sort of in the direction where we're going while me and my dad are driving just saves us having to stop. We came over that road there, just caught a glimpse of this, somehow managed to find out to get to it. Stopped for a bit of a picnic. Some sort of cave house up there. Tempted to get drone out, but I'm a little bit scared to get it out of the lake. Especially when it's not mine, I've borrowed it. Nice lake. Not really what I had in mind though. I'm not feeling going for a swim in that. Lovely lake. Mm. Probably won't stay here long. Eat a sandwich and bounce, most likely. Just thought I'd show you the view. 
and that's pretty much exactly what we did we had our picnic and bounced back onto the road again to face the inevitable fate that it looks like we was gonna get wet we was driving towards a ginormous black cloud in the sky we were gonna get rained on there was no way around it so we soldiered on through the little rainstorm i'll be honest it didn't even last very long at all but we was needing fuel so it was our first time to fill up in switzerland and boy i was not ready for the price Let's have a quick fuel stop. Check price here, look, look how expensive this is here. Diesel. Yeah, you see the snow? Let's have a look. Snow. Where's diesel, diesel, diesel? Diesel is 220, oh no, 210. Two euros, 10 a litre. Absolutely scandalous. Scandalous. Yes, he thought fuel at home were expensive. In Switzerland, it's very expensive. So, just cost me 100 to the in francs. So, 108, 26 francs. And I paid on my card because I've only got euros on me. And it came to. I don't think it's going to focus, is it? There you go. Came to 100 pounds and 51 pence. So, if we do the maths, I put exactly. 51.55, 51 litres, 55, so 151 divided by 51.55 litres is £1.94 a litre, Jesus, let's get out of here, expensive in this town. We've had a bit of rain. To be fair, it's just washed bugs off my windscreen. Helped a little bit. Look at this place, crazy. Just normal to these guys who live here, but just like a road carved out of a mountain. Amazing. To being absolutely mind blown by the views we decided you know what let's find a campsite and let's pitch it up and let's stop here for a night let's have a room with a view these sites are absolutely stunning Is home for tonight then with a the view oh, under this tree so we are we are currently in Switzerland somewhere we're gonna be going on to Italy tomorrow we are heading for Lake Garda going to Rimini and um, and Venice so that's where we're aiming for so I had a quick stop in it in uh, Switzerland bloody expensive here I tell you fuel is anyway the scale of this mountain here what we're at side of it just on this little camera it just doesn't look like it sort of like captures it you think we're probably what a human beings one fifth the size of a tree and there must be thousands up that banking it's ginormous so this is home for tonight we went to some little let me zoom back out we went to some little like french supermarket on where you got loads of sausages and burgers and all that jazz, that's going to be tea, we're going to get Kadak out and stuff. Look at my eldest daughter feeding the birds, she's such a kind, caring little soul, she melts my heart, she really does. Morning people, morning of day five, yeah. So my bed looks the same, no matter where we parked, 
yesterday's view was some jungle in the middle of France somewhere. Well, not in the middle of France, outskirts of France. Today's view. Oh, it's sunny, all right. Today's view is mountains in Switzerland. What a banging view out your bedroom window. So tomorrow's view will most likely be a lake in Italy somewhere. So that's today's plan. I'm going to spend a bit of time here because I'm going to let the kids have a play on the park. I'm going to go and grab a shower and then get some breakfast. We had a look around last night on bikes. Not a great deal here to do, to be fair. It's um, it's a very, very small town. So I think we're probably not going to stop long, grab some breakfast, grab a shower, let kids have a play on the park. I'm probably at the road, in all honesty. Well, it was supposed to be raining today. I can assure you it's definitely not raining. In this sun, it is boiling. So we're not going to be here much longer though. But we have got an update. The pass what we're going to be supposed to be going over, which is sort of that direction, going up and over that mountain, that pass is closed. So we're going to have to, well, we had a couple of choices really. We could go through a tunnel. There's a tunnel that you can go through, but it's 45 euro and it's miles long. So it's boring and we don't really want to go through a tunnel and not, and not pay 45 euro for pleasure. So I think we're going to go sort of back that way, the way we came in. We're going to go back that way towards them mountains and we're going to find another path. There's another pass over there because we want to do a mountain pass. So if you don't know what a mountain pass is, it's sort of you go up and windy, windy tight roads, but go up and over mountains and stuff. We don't just want to go through one straight tunnel because that's no fun, is it? it's boring. We want to see some sights. So that's the plan, I think. We're going to go back that way, up and over some passes, but that's sort of in the direction where we're going. So at this moment in time, not 100% sure on direction we're going. First things first. Bacon and egg sandwich. Brecky first, so I make a decision. I still can't get over how good the view is. I really, really hope it looks this good when I get home and put it on my computer and stuff. Cause it just doesn't, you just can't gauge the scale of it on, on this little camera what I'm holding on the little tiny screen, even on my phone. You just can't gauge the scale of it. I mean, that, that tree just sort of kind of ruins you can never pick it up as good as your own eyes. So the locals here, just used to this view, aren't they? I just can't get over it. It's, it's like a, it's like it's photoshopped into the background. <laughs> it's like it's not a real view. Madness, absolutely madness. It's a local statue. So we were supposed to be going today, but we've changed his mind reason we've changed his mind is because weather is still looking crap tomorrow. So we thought, why drive in sunshine and then spend the day chilling in rain? So we're going to stop here for another day. <laughs> I still, still can't get up with view. Mad. Yeah, so we're gonna stay here for another day and uh, we're gonna head out to Italy tomorrow just because weather's looking crap. Oh, I'm going across here. Is it illegal to cycle me on your phone? <laughs> Maybe. some type of old castle. It's got gun holes in it. Definitely some type of old castle, war thing. Where's it? Should we go have a look? No, that is just an amphitheatre. A what? An amphitheatre. Amphitheatre. Yeah. It's like it's got gun holes in it. <laughs> oh, I'm in the back. Top gear on this bike. Can't change down though, so I'm holding you guys. Come and have a look. Oh, oh, no suspension on these bikes. Let's go and have a look what this is. Checking all over. Oh, it is, yeah. Got seats in it, hasn't it, look? Let's go and have a look. Oh. Roman. Yeah. 
Mm. Now, I'll be respectful. Get off at bike and walk. Yeah. This bike could be up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Echoes in here. Yeah, so this would have been like an old battle site. Yeah. The emperor would have come out of there and sat there, and then all people sat watching all rich people. Not much to see through doors. Yeah, look, just on way out, and uh, this is what it would have looked like back in Roman times. It's like a bear, two bears fighting or something. Yeah, ripping a bloke's head off. <laughs> a bear ripping something up. That's what it would have looked like. I don't speak very good French or read it, so I don't know what it says, but I'm guessing it's something about Roman coins probably found on this site. In fact, yeah, is that? Yeah, that's that's, where, that's they've where they've all been found, found look, yeah. Tells you exactly where they've been found. This site's been, we were just saying it'd be good to come on here with a metal detector, but it's been well done, but look at that. That's good how they've marked them out. Though. Marked out where every single one were found. Yeah, it is good. Wish I could read French. Is um. Some more stuff on it. A bit of reflection off it. Screen on my phone, but interesting stuff. Isn't it random though? What on earth is that? So we went cycling early, didn't we? We find that little town. We decided we're gonna walk out there and we're gonna have some tea there since we're staying tonight. So we'll see what local food's like. I said local food. I'll probably have a pizza. You know, I am I do try local food, I do like fish and all that stuff, but it's obviously this is Switzerland, so Will it be frog's legs or will it just be normal pizzas? I don't know. Let's find out. No one looks very open actually. It's, very, it's a very weird place here. They have very weird opening times. Like they'll open in the morning, then they'll shut, and then they'll open at two o'clock, and then they'll close at six o'clock, and that's it. That's your lot. There is no tourist stuff here. Not at this season, anyway. It's not really peak season, is it? It's um, sort of like out of season here, so it's completely dead at the moment. If you come at a different time, August, September, it might be a different story here. But in May, absolutely dead. Not a soul around, really. Pizza and pasta it is. Might push boat out and try calzone. Tomato, mozzarella, ham, no idea, beef and possibly oregano. <laughs> it's the only one that's open. <laughs> I'll be honest, we haven't really chose to go in here, we haven't got a choice. It's the only one that's open. Yeah, it will. Hi. Hi, you. <clears throat> What have you ordered, Sam? Um, not sure. <laughs> you don't speak very good English. So uh, we've had to try and translate it in our French English. Excellent. Kate, my stepmom's asked for no mushrooms in a calzone, and we're betting it comes with double, double <laughs> mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Get size of that. That's a bad boy. Yeah. That is massive. Oh, we're lucky. It's like mine. Yours looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's massive, isn't it? That is ginormous. Morning of day six then. As plan worked perfect. Yesterday, if we'd have travelled yesterday, it'd have been banging sunshine while we're travelling. It'd have been rainy weather while we were chilling, wherever we got. Because today, 
Hot weather forecast just about everywhere in Europe has got some rain. So Italy, Austria, Switzerland, France, they've all got rain today. It's been on like that weather forecast forever. So as plans work perfect, we're going to travel today in rain. Should be good for us, be a little bit cooler as well. Uh, but yeah, look at this place now. So we're just leaving Switzerland, we're all wrapped up. I'm just having my morning brew. And then we're on the road, on the road again. We'll just see yeah, how check this view out now. So the view, as I've showed you before, we've had drone up and stuff. But look at it now, now, now it's raining. Clouds are mad low. Watch, look at this. <laughs> look how low clouds are. It looks like candy floss. It looks like I just reach up and, and touch it. Crazy low. It literally looks like I just touched the clouds. Same this side as well. Yeah, we're all packed up. I'm almost ready to just get in, flick the key. We're gonna nip down the road to Little, because there's a little little down road. We're gonna nip down there, get some breakfast, some croissants and stuff. Different view when weather's not so nice, isn't it? Just all clouds. That puts into perspective just how high them mountains are when you look how low clouds are now. Crazy. Right, let's find out today's plan. Hang on, let's go and see my dad. He's the one doing the navigating, so let's go and find out the plan. What's the plan then? Where are we heading? Domedi Solo. Domedi Solo. Where's the end result today? Well, that's 3 hours 42. That's Lake Missouri actually. Lake Missouri. Well, so, Marjorie, Marjorie, got to go and give him this back because I've had to rent it for 20 euros. So just be aware, if you come into Switzerland, it's not an EU plug. It's one of these. It's like a Switzerland special. So if you come into Switzerland and you want hook up, you need one of them. Otherwise you have to pay 20 euros. Well you're not paying it, I've just we borrowed it. It's a deposit. Give me 20 deposit back. On to the next destination. 